thing we have on Mill Cork is about 35,000 square feet. I think we'll, when it's at full capacity, we'll have at least 100 employees there. Uh, and uh, it's uh, right now a zone for a class B girl, so we'll have a thousand plants there. The philosophy is that this is, the demand is huge. It's always been huge. And this, this product, this crop in the state of Michigan needs to be grown indoors for the most part. Yeah. Uh, because of Michigan's climate. And, and it needs to be grown in large quantities to handle the large demand. And that really can only take place in places like industrial parks. Um, and then there's agricultural land that's grown in, grown in, grown into that people are going to have to build on. Um, but yeah, so we have an industrial building. Several people purchased pro industrial property in the township and in Kalamazoo for that purpose. Because mm -hmm. you can grow in a proper environment there uh, and grow year-round like you should be able to. And you'll have a large hopefully provisioning center network to supply, there's the, the patients are there to supply. I mean, patients, most patients don't know what real true medical marijuana looks like yet. They're just, they're still, they just think medical marijuana is whoever they get from, whoever they get it from, and now that they got a card, they can use it. Most of them haven't, they haven't entered a, an establishment that has tested medication, don't understand that there's, you know, various strains, there's a lot of diversity, a uh, very diverse amount of, med of medicine on the shelf from, and, and different ways to ingest it mm -hmm. uh, so all of that needs to happen and uh, you know just think there's 300,000 patients right now and they don't have a proper education on it you know if I think about all the people that are on opioids out there right now that if they had a chance at a real education on cannabis would probably switch and some of those lives would be saved you know if they did switch sooner rather than later you know last year with the Michigan opioid death toll I think was about 3,000 overdoses something like that